Hi guys, welcome to Merchant TV and welcome to another installment of Word of the Week where I give you guys some life gems. So guys, my phone is actually really, really messed up at the moment. Can't do much. I'm recording sound on it. So I hope that this turns out all okay. It's looking good so far. But um, today, guys, I really want to talk to you guys about gratitude, being grateful, giving thanks, feeling very optimistic. So we're coming to the end of the year and I, for one, was feeling very frustrated about certain things that were going on and, you know, looking at my mood board thinking like oh I haven't ticked this off and I haven't ticked that off um but I was actually looking at my mood board with my friend over then we actually went through some of the things although there were some major things that I felt like I hadn't quite achieved yet there were actually some really really great stuff on there that's pushing me towards um where I need to be and it's actually why I decided not to make another mood board for next year as of yet to just carry on with my goals but nevertheless i really want to encourage you guys to to be thankful and to have a heart of gratitude um last month november was a really tough month for me um i was very very distressed and um this month in december I was kind of reflecting as to, you know, what might have gone wrong. And I believe so much in energy and the spirituality of things. I feel like nothing happens to us as believers that is normal per se. Um, and I, I realized that in October, I took my gratitude journaling for granted. In September, it was something that I started to adapt, just be thankful every day, write down two to three things that I'm really happy about that's going on in my life. And in October, I saw a lot of things starting to manifest. A lot of good things were happening. And for that reason, I relaxed a bit. So I started to take some things for granted. Not that I didn't do it, but I wasn't as regular with it. So I thought, you know what? In coming into December, that is something I want to get back into again. And obviously having that experience in November, experiencing losses um, has kind of helped me to you know, see the importance of being grateful. Just because things are going great consistently doesn't mean that I need to forget that little exercise that I used to get me there in the first place. So I want to encourage you guys as this year is coming to an end. Yes, a lot of things might have gone wrong. Yes, you might have had some losses. Yes, you might not be happy with um, where you are, but look on the bright side. It is easier said than done, but literally force yourself, even if nothing exciting particularly exciting happens that day even if it is somebody opened the door for me i'm really grateful that there's human beings out there that want to help one another put that in your gratitude journal it really starts to create um positive energy got my pen <laughs> it really starts to create positive energy around you and for that reason you attract more positive things when you are content with what you already have and i think it creates this thing where your heart is so full and just ready to like receive more rather than when you focus on the things that aren't great you create like negative energy you put that out there into the world and what you put out multiplies and comes back so we need to be very careful what we're putting out there into the world so guys if there's one thing you take away from this video is that you should have a heart of gratitude especially going towards the end of this year try not to be frustrated and focus on the things that have worked out as opposed to the things that have not is a what is a wow thank you guys so much for watching this video until next time guys peace and love peace and chunks